The Environmental Protection Agency is on Maui and has already begun testing air quality. I spoke to the EPA incident commander who says their biggest concern is the ash that likely contains toxic chemicals that are possibly blowing into the ocean. More than 2,100 acres of Lahaina is blanketed in ash. The Environmental Protection Agency says it's one of their primary concerns given the age of the community. It we would presume that there is going to be uh, in some parts of the uh, destroyed community uh, uh, asbestos and lead and arsenic and potentially other metals uh, in, in the ash that could be blown into the ocean uh, and, and also to, to impact the potential res uh, the, the responders that are downwind. He says Lahaina's proximity to the ocean is especially worrisome. Uh, the amount of ash and, and the, the prevailing uh, uh, leeward winds that, uh, uh, as we all know, pick up in the afternoons, there's a potential that, uh, uh, that that ash will continue to be uh, dispersed uh, across the impacted community and into the ocean. Kalinog says in his 15 years working with the EPA in areas devastated by fires, the Lahaina fire poses a unique challenge because of the number of casualties and the historic significance of the town. He says they've already started testing the air quality. Currently, we are beginning the uh, baseline air sampling, uh, both in uh, around Lahaina and up in the Kula Olinda fire impacted area. Um, we're sampling for asbestos, lead, arsenic, other metals that may be present in the ash. Once the search and recovery and removal of hazardous waste from homes that were burned is completed, the EPA will spray the area with a soil tackifier that acts like a glue to prevent the ash from blowing into the air. It's a process he says they need to complete before they start removing the larger debris and testing the soil. Kalanog tells me that it takes about 24 hours to get the results from the air samples they're testing. Once they get those results, they'll share them with the health department. He says it's then up to the state and county to inform the public about what was found.